little Oz du Soleil here, and we have something quite uh, complicated but fun to talk about here today. And it is the VLOOKUP and how it works with TRUE because a lot of us are misguided about how we thought the VLOOKUP works. All right, so let's look at the regular VLOOKUP with FALSE when we're looking for an exact match. So we've got Samantha and we want to bring back the city. Samantha is in Dallas. Okay, Thomas is in Los Angeles. So let's do our basic V lookup with the exact match. V lookup here, A2, comma, where. Let's look in this range, comma, second step over, comma, false. Right. Dallas. Right. That's correct. Oh, I didn't do the absolute cell references, so that's F4, F4, good. Double click. All right. Xavier errored out. Let's see. Z in Baltimore. That's good. All right. Xavier, there is no Xavier, so it's good that that errored out. Great. So now let's put in true and anybody who knows about VLOOKUP knows that the lookup range which is here it is supposed to be ordered in order to get true to work so let's see what happens okay so first of all Xavier gets Montreal when there is no Xavier okay true looks up approximate matches so how in the world does Samantha get lacrosse that's Rudy and what about Yvonne Yvonne winds up with Montreal here Betty air it out Danielle air it out Craig air it out interesting all right so let's go to this tab where we're going to look at what's really going on here so the list is a little um, it's not ordered like we just looked at but here's our lookup array all right and let's take out this here okay so let's go equals v lookup samantha comma and our lookup array comma second step comma false okay and our absolute cell references f4 f4 good so let's double click good all right so that's false now let's do true Samantha has Montevideo, which is Lou. Craig air it out. Betty air it out. Danielle air it out. Maurice winds up with Milwaukee, which is Kate. So what is going on? What's going on is Excel, when you do true, it halves the list until it gets down to what should be the reasonable choice. And there's an expectation that you have helped Excel by sorting the lookup array properly. But this is not sorted, okay, and that's the issue we're digging into. So let's look at what this does. It's called a binary search algorithm. And it's your number plus one divided by two. In this case we've got 17 all right and 17 plus 1 divided by 2 gives us 9 8 we get eight four and a half and I get a sense that Excel rounds down rather than up so let's look at it 
this way and I am going to bring out my pin here all right so let's start by looking at Samantha and how does she wind up with Monte Video? okay our first step when we do this we're going to go to nine the ninth step which is Thomas okay and Samantha s would come before T so we have to list again and we go to Freddie okay because we had eight right from Lou Harrison Rudy Kate Freddie Betty Karen Joe that's eight so we go to the fourth step which is Freddie okay that's why I put this two here and Samantha is after Freddie so our third step is Rudy okay third step all right Samantha is after Rudy okay s is after R so we go to Harrison s is after H so we wind up at Lou and that is it though that's the end of our choices so assuming that this list was sorted Excel is telling us okay Monte Video for Samantha and that's why it can look crazy just nonsensical all right let's look at another let's erase everything all right why did Craig error out let's look at Craig now all right so we always start with Thomas and then C is before T Freddie C is before F and we have three steps here so three you go to the second step Karen all right C is before K we go to Joe C is before J and there is nowhere to go so this errors out and we'll notice one thing is that where there's um Craig Betty and Danielle what we notice is that it they're all three before Thomas and they're before Joe let's get rid of these all right let's look at something else let's see um let's look at Lee let's get my pen back let's look at now let's look at somebody who is after Thomas let's look at Todd Todd would fall after Thomas okay so Todd we start here always and then the next step is going to be Yvonne based on our algorithm here let's go ahead and erase that so we can all see the pen back all right and then the next step since we're looking for Todd Todd comes before Yvonne so we go to one two three we go to the second step which would be Lee and see so that would be Lee and Todd is after Lee right alphabetically so we wind up at Maurice and Todd is after Maurice but we'd be back at Yvonne which we already eliminated so we've got Montreal and that's how it goes that's how the binary search algorithm really does work and again it's assuming that this 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 list was sorted 
and with it not sorted then we wind up with this wild stuff going on so anyway hopefully this helps straighten things out about how the VLOOKUP does work how it does move through our lists and one good thing about the binary search algorithm is that it's more efficient all right if you had sorted if, if we had sorted this properly and we were looking for Freddie right we would just have two steps we would look at Thomas and then Freddie right if this was in order versus going from the top dump dump and then Freddie is number four all right and then if we were looking for Zed okay we would just have a few steps versus the linear search which starts at one and goes all the way down and then the 17th step would be Z. all right so um, I think somebody put up a stat that said with a binary search algorithm it would just take 16 steps in a list of a million to find anything in that list but imagine if your your search was looking for the 800,000th that would take a while v lookups do tax your system when you get a lot of v looks lookups going on so anyway hope this helps and i will be back to answer more questions so send more in thanks a lot